Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to make homemade guacamole. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and after I shared my avocado salsa recipe a little while ago, many of you asked me if I had a good guacamole recipe. I actually do. I've been making this one for a while, and I'm really excited to share it with you. Now, the first thing you're going to need is three ripe avocados. You might remember from my avocado salsa recipe, the way to tell if an avocado is ripe my favorite way to do this is to touch the tip of your nose and then touch the avocado. If that feels the same, if they give the same, then your avocado is ripe and ready to go. Now I'm just going to cut these in half and I'm just going to coarsely dice them. They should cut like softened butter. And scoop those pieces into a medium or large sized bowl. I have avocado in my eyeball. Now we'll add some lime juice. I like to add this now because it's going to help keep the avocados from browning while I'm prepping the rest of the ingredients. You'll need about two to three tablespoons of freshly squeezed lime juice. I like to start with a little bit less and then add more to taste as needed. Now I can usually get all of the juice that I need out of a single lime. For now, I'm just using half of the lime and I'll toss the avocado in it just so that all of the pieces are a little bit coated. Again, this inhibits the browning. We're not mashing anything just yet, but we will get there. The next thing you're going to need is about a third cup of red onion. You can make this guacamole as hearty and chunky as you want, but personally, I like to dice my veggies into small, tiny pieces. That's a potent onion. We'll measure that and try not to cry while you add that in with your avocados. Next, we'll be adding some jalapeno. Exactly how much you want to use really depends on how hot you like your guacamole. I like to use about three tablespoons and I always remove the seeds because even a few seeds can make this super hot, like too hot to handle. Scrape those out with a spoon because you really don't want to touch the seeds if you don't have to. And again, I dice my jalapeno into really small pieces. Next, we'll add three tablespoons of finely chopped fresh cilantro. I know not everybody loves cilantro, but it really isn't guacamole without it. Next, I'd like to add a large clove of finely minced garlic. Now I'm also going to be adding some Roma tomato, but I like to mash my other ingredients together first. I don't like my tomato quite as mashed as I like my avocados. Before I do that, I'm going to add some spices. The spices will be mostly to taste, but I like to start with a half teaspoon of finely ground sea salt. If you're using table salt, you'll need about half that. I also use about a fourth teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper, a fourth teaspoon of ground cumin, and I also like to add anywhere between three and six dashes of Tabasco sauce. Start with three and then we'll add more as needed. Now use a fork to mash all of the ingredients together and stir them until combined. You could always use a potato masher for this step if you prefer, that'll make it a little bit quicker. Now once my avocados are just about mashed to my liking, I'll add my Roma tomato. Usually I just need one Roma tomato, about a half cup, and I'll just remove the seeds and cut it into small pieces. Now from here on out is up to you. You're going to want to grab a nice salty chip and taste test and add more lime juice, salt, pepper, and Tabasco sauce as needed. I know I'm leaving you with a lot of wiggle room, but when it comes down to it, you're really just going to have to taste and decide how much of each to add. All right, mine actually came out perfectly. I'm not adding anything else to this one. That is how you make guacamole at home. Thanks for watching.